At that time, Jesus was casting out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke, and the people marveled. But some of them said, He casts out demons by Beelzebul, the prince of demons. While others, to test him, kept seeking from him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste, and a divided household falls. And if Satan also is divided against himself, he will his kingdom stand. How he'll, will his kingdom stand? For you say that I cast out demons by Beelzebul. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I cast out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his own palace, his goods are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks him and overcomes him, he takes away his armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's Gospel, Jesus is portrayed as divine healer. He heals people from all kinds of sicknesses and deformities. He makes even mighty demons recognize his power and flee from his sight. The crowd recognizes the revelation that the Messiah has the power and authority over all. But the Pharisees refuse to recognize the power of the Son of Man. They would rather suspect him, criticize him, and seize the opportunity to attack him. Only a truly pure heart can comprehend the work of God. To see the Savior's mighty deeds in our lives and to experience his healing touch in our lives, we must remove the mask we have in our lives. As we have passed few weeks of Lent, it's a time to pause and briefly outline our current spiritual journey. You can look back on your achievements and look forward to the goals you did not achieve. In connection with today's gospel, it may be appropriate, appropriate to look, look within ourselves to see if we have removed the devil from our lives. Have we continued to rely on the hand of God to guide us? The example Jesus gave of the mighty, well-armed guards guarding the court is a good analogy to our spiritual warfare. Jesus is the armed garden of our souls and protects us from the attack of evil forces that cannot be defeated without the grace of God. We are eternally protected because Jesus promised to be with us always. 
We do not need to fear evil spirits because Jesus promised to watch over us. We must stand firm. We should primarily see Jesus as the elevator of the people and not as the defeater of demons. Our lives are lived not under the influence of the evil, but under the influence of our own free and often sinful choices. God's power and grace exist for our benefit. Jesus died and rose again to save us by his blood. May Jesus empower each one of us to be able to follow him more earnestly and with greater commitment and zeal. May he bless our every efforts, all for his greater glory, now and always. Amen.